Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be covering 11 advanced building, editing, and game sense tips and tricks. I haven't made a more general advanced tips and tricks video in a while, mainly because I made like three different turtling and counter turtling ones. I know how much you guys love this series though, so I thought I'd bring it back. This video is going to be a little different than the normal ones though, because the final trick I'll show is easily the hardest and most insane trick that I've ever seen or showed on the channel. I'll tell you right now, after hours of trying it myself, I still couldn't get it, so definitely stick around for that because there'll be a little challenge I'm doing related to it. But, as always, for each trick, I'll show what the trick is, how and why it works, and then an in-game example if applicable. So let's start with a broken new way to use the deep dab emote. For this trick, I just binded the deep dab emote to an accessible keybind. You don't have to, but I think it makes it a little easier and smoother to do. After you replace your opponent's wall, edit a window and position yourself for a right hand peek. Then give a tribute to Jack's films and hit the deep dab. As you're beneath the wall, you can line up your shot and pop up for an easy kill. Your opponent will have absolutely no angle or line of sight on you until you pop up. And if you can quickly reset the wall edit that you made, you should never have a problem getting hit. I've showed a few emote exploits in the past that allowed you to shoot through doors, but nothing ever as blatantly busted as this. I originally saw this on Reddit from a Twitch streamer named the Flex Daddy, who we see here absolutely destroys a helpless cuddle team leader. I recommend following up your shot with a wall reset, that way you can block any return fire like he did here, and then you can hit the deep dab on them again. As memey and silly as it seems, it really is useful and ridiculously strong. And just to prove my point, here's Cypher PK pulling it off. The second trick is a new way to trap your opponent 100% of the time once they're in your box. It's for situations when you have a ramp over them and they're trapped in your 1x1. I showed in one of my previous advanced tips and tricks videos that you can place a trap on one of your walls and then edit a ramp towards them, which works a lot of the time, but there's still the possibility that they phase through your ramp and kill you. What you should do now is place a trap on the roof and as fast as you can, edit the ramp and then reset it back. That will trigger the trap and there's absolutely no way they can dodge it since it's on the roof. From their perspective, they'll see you trapping above them and they'll probably think that you're hacking when it hits them through your ramp. They won't realize that by you editing and re-editing the ramp, it will set the trap off and hit them even if they're still under it. Epic Whale uses it perfectly in this clip where his opponent basically comes out of nowhere and ends up in his box. The best part about this trick is that as long as you can reset the ramp quick enough, you won't ever take damage. If you were to edit the ramp and go for a shotgun shot, you're basically praying the guy under the ramp isn't paying attention or has bad aim. With this trick though, you don't need to worry about that because you're never putting yourself in any danger. Plus, it's a guaranteed 150 damage from the trap. Now, if you ever have someone in your 1x1 and a trap available, this should be your go-to move. Third is a crazy new trick to catch your opponent off guard. It's best used in box fighting scenarios. All you need is to be phased through a ramp, edit the wall, and then when you jump forward, you should fly out like a madman. The reason it does this is because normally, if you tried to jump when under a ramp, you would hit the ramp and go maybe like 2 inches forward. But when you're phasing through the ramp and then jump forward, it basically bounces you off it and propels you in whichever direction the ramp is facing. I think it's best to use it while inside a 1x1 to surprise whoever is on the outside, but you can also use it on the outside to take the turtling player on the inside off guard. It's the same exact technique, but you just have to replace the wall first, so then you can edit and throw yourself at them like a whirling dervish. This is not an exploit because the Fortnite competitive Twitter retweeted this exact video by Glock D, who is the creator of it. Notice how fast he does it where it barely looks like he's even phasing through the ramp. Overall, this is an insane trick that nobody will expect if you can pull it off fast enough, so go out and try it yourself. Fourth on the list is a 200 IQ trick to always hit your grenades from a grenade launcher. Most of the time, you're basically just guessing trying to figure out the exact distance you want to be so the grenade will explode directly on top of your target. What you should be doing is this, marking the exact spot you want to hit, like a metal 1x1, then go back about 65 meters which seems to be the sweet spot. From that distance, all your grenades should explode right above the marker so the person inside can't build and will take maximum damage. It can be from any angle or any elevation, just make sure it's 65 meters away and angle your grenade slightly up so it will explode in midair. Credit for this trick goes to I'm Speedy Gonzalez, but I believe he got it from the legend himself, 72 hours.
Next is a phasing technique that you can use to get into your opponent's box every time. All you need to do is have a ramp on top of there one by one, edit and re-edit it so like the other trick, you're phasing through the ramp. Then all you need to do is break the floor once and even if they're holding down turbo build, you'll phase through. To prove this works every single time, my cousin did it to me while I'm on zero ping and as you can see, it's impossible to stop. It works very similarly to other phasing tricks from the top where the ramp pushes you down and by the time they try to build and keep you out, you're already through the floor and get into their box. Just realize this is insanely risky as you can easily get shot or trapped because you're forcing yourself into their box. But if your opponent is really low like Kuna is in this clip, then it might be worth the full send it for the kill. Sixth is another box fighting trick, but it's not a phasing exploit or anything like that. If you guys remember from my 8 advanced counter turtling techniques video, I showed a trick from Speedy Gonzalez that will allow you to replace cones and floors while fully protected. Your opponent has no angle on you so they can't go for an edit shot and you have full reign over their builds. What I'm about to show is very similar, but instead of using it to replace cones and roofs, you can use it to replace walls. All you need to do is place a ramp and edit it backwards, then you have a nice right hand peak angle you can use to replace their wall while being protected from a potential edit or trap play. From your opponent's perspective, they won't be able to get a shot on you as long as you're staying behind the edited stairs. Then whenever they go for a pop shot, you can just replace their wall and use one of the many advanced counter turtling tricks I've showed to send them back to the lobby. This is not the best for quickly taking their wall, but if you're up against a good player and you want to protect yourself, this is definitely the way to do it. Our next trick is something that you've all probably been doing wrong. Ever since the shockwave grenades have been unvolted, everyone wants to be like Atlantis Metro and pull off the Metro Classic. The way most people try to do it is by building a floor above them, then throwing the shockwave grenade and hoping it will send them down. As you can see, it will destroy the top of your opponent's builds, but you'll be thrown away into the side of it. The correct way to do it is this, go up to their 1x1, build your own 1x1 on top of it, then edit the floor and cone and throw the shockwave at the edited piece of the cone. This will send you directly down into their 1x1 no matter what material they have built or if they're trying to turbo build you out. Again, this is very risky, but it will catch pretty much everyone off guard when you fly through their fully built metal box. Eighth trick is a new way to use turrets to prevent fall damage. If you're ever falling off high ground, you can line yourself up on the middle of a turret and you won't actually take any fall damage when you place it and land on it. Even if you're close to the center of it but you're not quite there, you can still mess it up and take damage. It will take some practice at first, but now you have another way to stop yourself from falling to your death if you have a turret. Ninth is another trick to use when falling off high ground. Usually when you get shot out, the only thing you can think to do is to land on a ramp, which really is not that bad, but look how low down you are now. Instead, if you look down as you get shot out, you can turbo build two walls up and then land on a floor. We'll take it a step even further though. With enough practice, you can add a ramp on top of the floor, so you land three levels up instead of just one on the ramp. Now, if you ever get shot out from high ground in a fight or in a scrim, you have an easy way to retain height without falling all the way down. Second to last trick is a way to protect yourself while rebooting your teammates. The problem with reboot vans is that you can't build anywhere above them or on top of them. Some people will jump on the top of the reboot van and turbo build all the way around it, but look how many mats you're wasting. The best way to remain protected is just to build a cone, get in it, and then get as close to the van as you can, and the little reboot icon should pop up. If you can't find it initially, just keep looking up and around until it appears and you'll be able to get the reboot off. This does not work at every location, like at Pleasant Park you can see the cones are just a little too far away, but at many POIs like Tilted, this is the safest and best way to save your dead teammates. The final and easily the hardest trick I've ever seen, well, let's just watch it. This is from a player named STZ on Twitter, and as you can see, he fires the rocket, and while it's in midair, he edits the ramp the opposite way so it doesn't hit the ramp, and instead hits his opponent. From his opponent's point of view, he couldn't even see the RPG coming. I tried this for hours in creative, and I just couldn't get it fast enough or figure out what the hell he did to do it, especially in an actual game. So the challenge is, the first person who can pull this off and use it to kill someone in game and send me a clip, I'll PayPal them $20 or buy them whatever skin in Fortnite they want. 
It'll be like a little mini challenge, but only for the viewers that hopefully stayed the whole time and watched the whole thing through. Overall though, these 11 advanced tips and tricks should definitely help you guys out. If you guys learned something, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and to turn on post notifications. Thank you to everyone using code Jerian. I love you all. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.